I've been working on this getting it a bit narrower and straighter. We're still not down to the sort of target of 25 millimeters or what have you but you can see where I've removed wood off this knotty edge I've now got a lot more sapwood showing so that means I can reduce some of this sapwood where it was over thick but before there was only a whisk of a sapwood see what we're at width wise yeah same way yeah 29 and a half millimeters so a fair a fair amount I can take off still but like I said I don't want to rush and take it down too early and then find it's going sideways uh, but I've been thinning it from the belly and from the sapwood side uh, and it's certainly coming back a bit further now I've actually got a whisker of tension on that string now yeah, so it looks like I could probably get that braced past a hundred there. I'll review that and you know do my usual. Yeah the outers aren't working much but remember they're going to be narrowed that way. They'll be reduced in thickness. I've got a bit more sapwood I can take off here and there. I can certainly reduce it here a bit now. And you can see that knot there's a lot less a lot less of it showing now so when that's narrowed even more that may well virtually disappear so basically the, the proportion of good wood to knot will be improving to give you an idea of how sort of straight and parallel it is See, a lot of people make the mistake, in my opinion, the mistake of laying out a bow to either a dead straight taper or whatever taper too early and they're working it with thin tips and it, and it can start going sideways. Taking wood off the width doesn't make that much difference, so you can leave it quite late, get, get the thing stable and coming back first. Then you can worry about narrowing the tips and, you know, fiddling and fettling and faddling yes oh you can see the tiny bit of tension on the string I just have to flex it slightly to get the string off but it's not you know just a little just a little yoink and off she comes it's too hot to do much at the minute we've got a bit of a heat wave going on right I've narrowed it a bit more I've stuck on some temporary knocks just as overlays to enable me to get it braced. You know, it'll have proper full hold knocks eventually, but it will be a lot narrower than that. 18 odd millimetres wide, so very wide at the tips. But like I say, that will enable me to narrow, have a narrow bow in the middle and still be able to adjust the string line if it does start trying to go sideways. So I can look at getting it braced, really seeing how it's bending. If it's trying to go sideways, I can take width off one side or the other to get the string line right. We'll see what it does. I've got it at a genuine low brace now. Uh, I was only able to do that by putting temporary knocks on it so I can use a stringer. But um, we'll get a better idea of the real tiller now. See that filled knot is still a bit worrying, but there's a lot more sapwood above it now. The bow's been narrow. Yeah, she's moving quite nicely in the middle. The outers are stiff, but that's just the way I tend to, to do it. 
knocks, I narrow them when I put the proper knocks on. That's not looking bad, is it? Obviously a bit stiff in the grip. Uh, moving quite a bit middling. Need to get the out outers coming round more. It's a full ninety pound. That's about ninety five pound to all right. Well, no, just over ninety. But I'll review that and see where I go from here. Be interesting to see if that string's a bit slacker now if it's taken some set. No sign of it trying to go sideways. String line's a bit off to that side, but I can pull the string across here. So like that, I've just pulled the string across here. And hopefully that makes the string line better. The problem is with something curved like a bow, if I just do that, you say, well, the string line's over here now. Well, if I do that, the string line's over here now. It's very hard to really see what you've got when you're looking at something that isn't a straight line in the first place. Now do.